Hi everyone, this is Atusa and I'm here to make another food together. Please subscribe my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, today we're gonna do a rock salt prime rib for you. So this roast, this is a bone-in prime rib, ribeye roast. We purchased it last week and it's been aging for in the fridge for about eight days. Just basically air dry it, get all the moisture out. Today I'm gonna season it and pack it with rock salt and it will be cooked um, on Friday. So first I'm gonna try to remove the skin on the rib side. You just outline it. Outline the skin. Try to take it out. Very tough, stringy. So this one you see the aged part. I'm not gonna trim this at all because we're gonna season it and then I'm gonna rub mustard which is our glue and then a pack of rock salt. Once it's baked tomorrow then we'll have to shave off um, all the rock salt off it so there's no need to shave the aged part. So we just leave, save that. And the idea is to remove as much moisture and it'll help so you have a more tender roast. But, so we're gonna season this today. And I'm, I have some garlic powder. I have some tenders uh, seasoning here. And some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce is just gonna be our salt. Now, we're gonna have mustard on this and that's gonna be our glue. So it helps the rock salt to stay you know, in, intact. And then once we bake, then the rock salt will come off and then we will have to shave the entire outer. So there's no need to trim this twice. So for that, I'm gonna add a little Worcester sauce here. And be generous when you have a roast this size. And then we're gonna add some garlic. Not garlic salt, just regular garlic. And some of the prime rib seasoning. I'm not gonna do anything to the ribs. Rib, ribs gonna be fine. They're just gonna be our rack. And that's just be like a little tender appetizer afterwards. So now what I'll do for the bottom part, I'm gonna apply a generous amount of rock salt to the bottom of the pan. And cover the bottom part. lay this flat so you have an even coat and it'll just sit on there okay. now for the rest of it I'll try to get the eyes that's the trickier part Sorry, it is a little messy, but that's okay. It will be just great tomorrow. You could use a piece of foil and just wrap it around so you have more salt adhered to the eyes. So this is it. This is our rock salt prime rib. Now it's gonna sit in the fridge for um, until tomorrow, um, roughly about 12 hours, give or take. Just let it sit here and it'll, it'll form. And we're gonna bake it 
afterwards. Christmas. Um, this prime rib roast is ready now. Uh, we seasoned yesterday and we uh, rub salad mustard all over, which I explained that was like our glue. And so in order for the rock salt to stick to this roast, and um, it's now going to interfere with the flavor. We're going to bake this at 375 for about a couple hours. And then we'll check temperature for doneness. So we're ready to put the roast in. It's been sitting out for about 45 minutes now. Oven is ready and we are ready to go in. And we'll follow up in about a couple hours. Uh, hi everyone, we're back. Um, the roast uh, baked for um, about three hours at 375. You can see the rock salt is crystallized and we don't get it, we're not getting a whole lot of juice. That was the whole idea. And it's been resting for about a half an hour now. So right now we're gonna go just remove the rock salt. Just remove the chunks the best you can. And the rest you can just cut up. So we have some beef back rib here. I'm gonna go ahead and take those as well. So everybody would get a rib. That's gonna be our little appetizer. So that's all the old fat. That's the area that we aged, so we can trim now. You can try it, but it's gonna be probably on the very strong side. And you're gonna trim a little bit on the outer edge anyway, because you're gonna have some uh, pebbles probably embedded in there. You don't wanna really bite into those. I'm gonna transfer this to the cutting board. So now, see this, this, this fat's gonna be very strong in flavor, because that was the part that we aged for a week. Besides, we have the salt here, so I'll take off some, and then I'll leave the rest up to the individuals. And we're gonna go ahead, separate the roast from the ribs now. There's four bones, you wanna get a piece. So when you take this off, you can stay close to the bone, so you have a lot of media ribs. So just follow the bones. We're gonna be a little generous with the ribs. Leave more meat on there. Here. You should smell this thing if you had smell a vision. With the roast, it's easier to trim. First, and then you can carve, makes it a little easier. You have that option. Okay. Now let's slice it into steaks. Take off a little bit of the tail. It's pretty much just, just fat, that's all it is. So, this is your, like on the medium side, we don't like on the rare side because. There's not a whole lot of flavor. You want to cook this meat. If you cook it, trust me, it'll be more tender. You're not gonna dry this anyway. You can cook this well done and still be juicy over these steaks. You still have an option to put this in a broiler if you choose to. You can still do that. Nice end cuts here. I'm gonna cut this into three, since they're large steaks. These are nice dinner sizes. See all the juice stayed in there. I'm gonna allow this to rest quite a bit. There we go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel and like my videos.